Hi, it's me again with Kirill Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this JPEG, and they said it's not very good. It's actually an RGB uh, bitmap, it says, but it's only 300 dots per inch. So I, I wasn't even going to work on it because some of the graphics are gone, like the lightning bolt. I just went to the internet and found this same exact drawing, a little bit different on the bottom, but it's 600 by 507. So I just brought it into Corel. I shrunk it down. And then I'm just going to trace it at bitmap, bitmap trace, trace bitmap, outline trace, clip art. Trace is pretty good. I'm not. I'm going to bump the detail up just a hair. Then I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to move the trace version over here. Now we've got white. But that's easily fixed. Go up to object, ungroup it, actually select some of that white, and you can see white, you got white selected, go up to edit, go up to edit, find and replace, from selected, find all, and then hit the delete button and delete all the white. Now we do have some grays that probably need to be there. Now this gray doesn't need to be there because it's going to look like it's in between the fingers. You know, that can be there or not you know a lot of these so what you can do now is just select it all and right click black and now your whole thing is black now he trades pretty good with the exception of his face uh just depends on how big you're going to make it you know there's some cleaning up that could be done you know if we take the shape tool there's actually two sets of nodes here and the drawing is Got a lot of nodes, so let's try to let's try to reduce the nodes first and see what happened. I'm just typing in 20, not 200. It's not working on this case. Let's try it again. This time I'm just gonna move the slide bar. See, it got rid of a lot of the nodes. See, let's see if we can't do that to the face. But it also maybe is gonna tear stuff like this up. So let's back, where, back up. See, a lot of times you aren't gonna to wanna to do that. But because there are two nodes, or two facets of colors, basically, we could try welding it. But there's some things going on behind this drawing that I can't even see even if we go to view and wireframe. I don't know what could possibly be going on uh, with this. Uh, some graphic artists might be able to tell you. But you can just go through with your virtual segment delete key and delete some of these lines. You know, they're making up things. We, I mean, this needs to be all black, so why not just delete it? You know, that doesn't need to be there. Uh, that doesn't need to be there. Now, this would be a lot of cleaning up, but once you've done it, I think you'll be a lot happier. So let's just, and, and it's really, it's just his face that's pretty bad. You know, the, the fingers you could do, but it really is not going to matter because I think when we just select it all and turn it back to black, it'll look, pretty good so I'm just going to select it all and right click black oh I'm still working in wireframe let's put it back to wow I deleted something so depending on what you want it to look at look like uh just clean it up a little bit. I mean, that doesn't look bad. It de depends. On, I mean, my, what I would clean up the most is, you know, maybe make this lightning bolt a little sharper uh, type deal. You know, maybe remove some of those nodes. Let's see what happens when we remove these nodes. Nope. We really want that. I would want his lightning bolt to be a little sharper uh, and, you know, not, not worried too much about his face. Unless this thing's going to be pretty big, then you need to, you know, maybe work on the detail of his face. Um, 
you know, there's a few things you could do, but you got to be careful when you're working with those like this because um, you can go to the other side and start taking out from the other side, like right there. You know, there's colors on top of colors. So if you don't, and one thing you can do, you can take the Smart Fill tool, fill on black whenever you have that opportunity and just, well, that that's not even gonna work there. But anyway, I would just work with the shape tool. And you know, if you go this way and it turns it all black and you go up here, take this one. And I'm not saying it looks better than it did before we started. Um, looks a little bit better. This particular case, the shape tool just, the shaping smoothing tool just isn't gonna work when you have, cause you're gonna start breaking those pieces apart. So be careful of that. I've tried welding this and it just doesn't work. There's something behind the scene. Uh, combining it would help, but weld should work. But there's some things going on back here that I don't know why they are. So I hope that helped them a little bit and thank you for watching.